Jeremiah, we're we'll looking in here at group G, group G, group G, G for giraffe or Geronimo. Or is Geronimo spelled with a J? Um, so this again, this this is where just things gets complicated because you look at England, Belgium. It's becoming because they don't know who they're going to be facing, and because things have just gotten very complicated in Group H. Finishing first or second really doesn't know because Group H, any it's, it's obviously between three teams, and either of those three teams could either finish, finish first or second. So I just think you know, but we'll get to England, Belgium. I think for for Panama and um, Tunisia, I think you know for Panama, you know what? Look, man, it was it's tough, but I think Panama's victory, as I always said, was just qualifying for the World Cup. I think that's an amazing thing that they've done for a country like that to be able to get to the World Cup ahead of America is an amazing, 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 amazing achievement, and. I think you know. Let them let them hit these guys. Let them go out with a with a, a bang. I think for Panama, just be better on the ball. Have better quality. Be much more focused. Don't rush things. Don't be too quick in if you're in attacking areas because once you're in attacking areas, composure, composure, composure is needed. You know, if you don't have composure, you will make a mistake. The ball will go over the bar. You will overhit that pass. And I think for Tunisia, Tunisia, I think they look good. They just got shown up a bit. I think they just put their tactics a, a, a bit wrong against Belgium. And and they lost to a let's let's go through um, hurricane. So I think this should be a, a, a good game. Based on what both teams want to leave with pride, Panama especially. So Panama will, will be playing with a lot of pride. But I just do think that Tunisia's quality will see them through. So I just see Tunisia maybe edging this um, two two one for them two one to Tunisia in this game. Now let's talk about Belgium England. Now we're hearing that Belgium are going to rest players. I'm see. I'm a fan of like if a guy, if a dude's on a yellow card, or I don't play. Him. But I'm of the mindset that this is tournament for 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 football. After this game is played, there may be about three or four days till you have to play your your second round game. It's always good to be match fit, match ready. Fair enough. Give him forty five minutes, or give like your your hazard or your Lukaku of sixty minutes or something. But to not play them at all, you're playing with fire. I think you're playing with fire. Um, so I think for for England, I would expect them to you know play your strongest team, because I think that for England, what you want to do is you know or even for Belgium as well, coming into the second round, nine points that gives you an air of confidence. That just gives you an air of confidence. It's not needed, because again, whether whether you win with nine points or seven points it doesn't matter. Because again, Germany they didn't win all their games, but we all know what happened in back in twenty fourteen. Spain lost their first game. We all know what happened in in, in twenty ten. But I think for this, you know, um, this is a game that I, I especially want to see both both teams because I think Tunisia and Panama haven't tested both of these sides. So these ties have. That's why I can't even put them in as favorites because they've not yet been tested. This is going to be a test for both of these sides. How do Belgium's defense deal with the attack of Harry Kane's movements, Dele Alli's playmaking ability, Rash Rashford on the ball ability, Loftus Cheek's ability as well, and Sterling speed through through, through tight areas. And also Lingard's attacking ability, shooting ability, and ability to, to get through to those through balls as well. How does our England defence, which I always say is their biggest weakness, how does our England defence deal with Lukaku's um, ability to get on the through ball and his shooting? Has that amazing, amazing football in brain, De, De Bruyne's passing and um, the um, attacking prowess of Mertens. So how does this young defence deal with that? Because again, that's this defence, you've not faced anything close to this Belgium attack in the two games you've had so far. But despite that, again, I don't know what the lineups are going to be, but let me just, whatever the, the, the line, line, line lineups are, um, I think England will get this. I think England get this win. I think they will suffer. Belgium will open that ass up a few times. But I think overall, I th that Belgium defence, I think, can, can can get got. I think England are going to have a lot of a space, much, much more space to... to, to exploit them so i'm i'm saying three two to england i say england three belgium two in this game england top the the, the group and then it's about whatever that happens in group H because i have no idea how the hell group h is all gonna end up so england belgium then they make it through into the second round thank you for watching this video Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.